Hey y'all, uh, happy Friday. Hey, I like my new outfit. Thank you. Uh, Chef Sapo. Oh, not Chef Sapo. Oh, yeah, Sapo. Hell, he cooks. Sapo, Chef Ted. Appreciate you guys. Chef Broquet, Sapo. Appreciate the hell out of it. Uh, shut up, phone. Look, I'm ready to go. I got my, uh, pen and I got my marker. You gotta have a Sharpie. You gotta make dates on packages and shit. Got my trusty thermometer in my pocket. I look like a real friggin' chef again, man. Been a long time since I had chef whites on. Long fucking time. And, uh, feels good, man. Feels good. Terry doesn't understand the concept of hats yet, and I gotta explain all that to her later. She's You don't have to explain shit to me. Well, you just... The uh, way you had it, it looked dorky. That's the way it's supposed to be. Anyways, uh, we're, uh, my friend A.B. here. I, I like calling him A.B. Antonio Bourbon. He's here. He's gonna be here till the end of the month. That son of a bitch can drink, man. I'm going broke just trying. The other night I woke up. I had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night. I get up. He's in there drinking a fucking vanilla bottle. I'm like, dude, what's up, man? This guy will drink anything. He's been around you too. Anyways, he's been here for almost a week now. And uh, he was bitching last night. He said, Vulgar Chef, I ain't had none of your gravy yet. What's up with that? So we're going to make him some gravy tonight. And that's something that I like to do. And uh, it's kind of a breakfast deal, but uh, we eat for supper here. Most people put sausage in their gravy, which I don't care for. I like hamburger in mine. So I make hamburger and gravy. Uh, but sometimes I like to switch it up and put fried bologna in it. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Fried bologna and gravy. And we just got some cheap ass uh, stand up there, you little drunk bastard. He did, oh man, it's, um, it's a lush. He's worse than me. Uh, we got some bologna there. We're going to slice that up, throw it in the skillet with some butter and olive oil, brown it up, put some flour, some milk, salt, pepper, garlic in there, make us some gravy, serve it on toast, and that's what we're going to have. I'm going to show how AB, how Hoosiers make gravy. So, uh, let me get him another beer, and we'll be back in a minute. Okay. You get a picture of that? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I got in here uh, about a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. And this was 12 ounces of bologna I had, not a pound. They don't make pounds anymore of anything. Shit. Imagine that going to the dealer now. Instead of getting a pound of reef, you get 12 ounces. What's <laughs> up with that? Uh, uh, Why does he always look mad? Do what? Why does he always look mad? Probably because heifers like you is filming him. Okay, so we got our oil hot, our butter hot, and uh, you know it's the bologna. I just cut it in quarters. That's all you gotta do. And then just toss it in the oil there. Hey, B, pay attention now. Oh, drunk bastard. Man, you drink more, man. Dave, I can see why you sent this guy over the pond, man. Ain't no way you can make a living with him around. He's a fun house guest, though. He told me last night, we were sitting there last night, man, Terry's at work, and me and A.B., I was showing him uh, the World Poker site, World Poker Tour. I was teaching him how to play poker American way, and uh, we were sitting there, and he was losing all his money, and he's like, dude, I've been here a week, and uh, I ain't hardly seen your wife. I'm like, yeah, well, I've lived with her for 35 years, and I ain't seen her. <laughs> And I said, that's the secret of happiness, dude, man. Work opposite schedules to your wife. He said, well, I guess. That way you guys can't argue. I said, hell no, we never see each other. We can't argue. So anyways, that's what we do here, man. So what you're going to do here, we're going to throw the bologna in there. Get it all nice and happy. And uh, brown it up. What are, you, what are you laughing at? Damn giggling ass heifer. Uh. <laughs> A.B. Shut her down, dude. My God, man. It's just baloney. My God. It ain't a put up big or nothing. Anyways, so we're going to do this. And uh, I'll get this all in there and uh, stir it around. And we'll be back in a minute. i got to get him another beer already. Son of a bitch. Give me a beer. I know, man, you little bastard. 
Man, that's somebody's getting drunk. Right. So. 30 seconds. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, if you notice, uh, this is getting kind of crispy. That's what you want. Uh, you don't want it all like that, but you want some of it. And you see all this shit on the bottom? You think I'm burning that? No, that's fond. That's going to be flavor at the end. That's fond. <laughs> I know you're fond of beer, you little drunk. Damn. All right. Are we going to continue cooking this? I got it. This is the third beer. We just started this video. I got to go get him another one. Damn, he can't reach the icebox door. Jesus Christ. Uh, somebody send me some beer, man. This guy's drinking me out of the house. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I got this about where I want it now. I need to add more grease to make my flour, uh, to make my roux. So, I got about, what, maybe two tablespoons of butter here. I'm going to put that in there. I'm using that Kerrygold butter from Ireland. Ireland? Yes. Your home country, buddy. Well, your home, uh, what do you call that, continent? You call it something. That's good stuff, though, man. Kerrygold, they make good products. If you can get any of their cheeses, the butters, it's good stuff. So we'll put that in there. Get that all whisked about. Burnt pan. What? You burnt your pan. I didn't burn nothing, damn it. Just hang in there. You'll be all right. You just wait and see. I'll be the gravy master, buddy. I'll show you. You take these tricks back to the UK and learn them people a thing or two. Uh, you're gonna see, right? Where's my beer? So, I, I know. You, you need another beer already. Damn, so do I. Uh, I'm busy right now, though. We gotta wait. So, uh, I don't think I've got quite enough grease. Put just a tab of uh, oil in there. Hey, let's drink it. <laughs> and then we're gonna put some flour in there. Right now, I'm starting with about uh, probably two thirds of a cup. I may need some more. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. You're basically making a roux at this point. Uh, yeah, I know, Chef. That's, that's one of them. Uh, Oh, A.B., he had a bad time down there in Louisiana. He, he knows all about ruse. He got lost down there in the friggin' swamps and shit. Man, it took him forever to get up here. But you made it, dude, man. And, uh, a little bit more flour. We'll see. Bitch getting lost in them swamps, ain't it, A.B.? Yeah, I know. They got gators and turtles and snakes and they got crawfish too though dude so hey life ain't all bad down there i love it down there myself what are we gonna do with this it looks like shit uh i don't need anything else i think we just stir this around you should let this flour cook out of this for a little bit it's all you doing uh, seriously i think i need a little bit more flour Can you be a little bit more noisy? We'll put us another tablespoon of flour in there. No. That's a lot of flour. It's going to take a lot of milk, but we'll be alright. He wanted to see me make gravy, so that's what we're doing. Actually, this is a lot quicker than doing it with hamburger or sausage. Bologna don't take near as long to cook. And uh, sure seems like it takes off a lot. It's uh, well, that's because we had to keep getting stopping and getting beers for AB there. My god, man, <laughs> hell, I did half of one video and we done went to a 12 pack. Oh no, he's a damn drunk. I know it, man. He's fun, though. He's fun. <laughs> he's worse than you, yeah. But he, well, he's more fun than me, too. I think probably is. That's just because he's from the UK. But it'll be alright. Upper Kentucky? 
Oh, hell yeah. Oh, there you go, baloney boy. Upper Kentucky, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Not to be confused with L.A., Lower Alabama. All right, we cooked this enough. You are nuts. <laughs> yeah, I know we're nuts, man. So now we got to put a little milk in here. Try to get all this shit off the bottom. Or what Terry and AB says I burnt my skillet. Now we got to release that bond off of there, which was the goodness. Get Don't a little bit more milk. <laughs> Do what? Don't you fond of beer? <coughs> yeah, I know you're fond of beer. Man, we got to get all this fond off there, though. That's where all the flavors are. Make a little mess. You see it's coming off of there. You see, look down in there. And you see all that fawn's coming off of there. And that's where all your flavors are going to be. Put some more milk in there. And if you notice, I added a, quite a bit of grease, quite a bit of flour. So I'm going to need quite a bit of milk. We're going to make a lot of gravy. Good thing I've got a gallon. I was going to get half gallon. That's all right. A.B. can drink milk. I ain't drinking no milk. <laughs> Hell no, he ain't drinking no milk. No, unless it's in the scotch. Damn, I'm glad I don't have any of that around. That shit's expensive. Hard enough feeding them treat cheap beers. Yeah, you can have any cheap stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he got mad the other night. I brought a Guinness home. <laughs> he thought I was going to keep him a Guinness. I said, Hell no, that's for cooking. I made bangers and mash the other night and used the Guinness and made gravy. And he was like, what the hell are you talking about? I forgot about that. I did make him gravy already this week. Different kind of gravy. Not yeah, gravy. yeah. Oh my God, that was so good though. Them bangers and mash rocked. They rocked. Had caramelized onions and mushrooms in them. And, oh you wasted my, my onions. Do what? You wasted the onions. You didn't waste nothing. Put them in that nasty Guinness. Oh, that dish rocked, man. That was really, really good. Well, I'm glad you and the little guy liked it. Well, hell yeah, you know he liked it. Hell, it had beer involved. Yeah, beer. <laughs> oh, damn, man. So now we're going to keep stirring this. Keep adding more milk. I know it's getting thick already, so I know I need to add a little bit more. We're almost done, though. Yeah, make toast yet? Yeah, we gotta make toast. I still haven't seasoned this yet. But that's all right. We're gonna get up there. Stay there. Stay. Uh, salt. I need some salt. And we're gonna put about a say a. Teaspoon and a half of salt in there. Bologna is kind of salty anyway, so you don't need a lot. Fresh cracked jack, how much you like, you know. You know me. Actually, milk gravy needs quite a bit of pepper. Hit with just a little bit of garlic powder. A little? Yeah, that's probably half a teaspoon. Oh, Do what? Oh, man, between you and the little guy, I don't know who's talking what. I can feel my bottom of my skillet. All the fond has been released from there. So I don't have a burnt skillet anymore, like them two would say. Set this down. Switch over to a wire whip. And just give this a good mix. Make a little mess. Your phone is about a pain in the butt. You bought the damn thing. Don't tell me about it. I didn't set your settings to make those noise. 
All right, we got to throw some bread in the toaster and make us some toast. Uh, really, I don't like uh, I don't like cardboard biscuits with this. I like toast. That's what Haywood Banks would say. I like toast. Anyway, so trying to just right. Yeah, that's probably Haywood calling me. So anyways, we'll stir this around, get some bread in the toaster, and uh, I'll come back in a minute and show you what we got. I gotta get us. Okay, so you don't have to stir this consistently. Constantly. <laughs> All right. You don't have to stir it constantly or consistently. <laughs> but just every now and then give it a good little mix. You can see it's starting to thicken up a little bit on me. It hasn't come to a boil yet. Uh, like with any thickening agent, flour, cornstarch, arrowroot, whatever. Uh, it's not going to reach its uh, uh, thickness point until it comes to a boil. Thickness point? Yeah, that's when it becomes an anyway. Wouldn't that be thickest? <laughs> whatever. So uh, we're starting to get to a boil. It'll be here in just a few seconds. We'll just keep whisk whisking this around. No you and a uh, little... Uh, we need another beer. I'm both, little, we're both out of beer. The little man need to cut back. Oh, shut up and film. Hey, me, take care of my light work. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Do it yourself. <laughs> oh, you had it out with her already, have you? <laughs> you never see the heifer. She never hear. So anyways, we're just about there. Uh, Dave, we're having a time with A.B. here, man. Uh, we're probably going to do some sightseeing this week. I don't know. i got to get him out of his house and get him away from the beer. Uh, so we're okay. starting to boil now. And uh, Tango Joe, if you watch this video, I want you to know that... Uh, the hilltop now has brain sliders, so I guess uh, I guess you don't have to buy a whole big ass brain sandwich. You can get sliders. I don't know. I even I've heard this. I don't know. I got to check into that. Maybe I'll get a B over there. We get a slider. Oh lord! So, all right, we're boiling. And uh, I'm trying just... to film and make toast here. Okay, don't worry about the toast. Get this. I'm filming. We're just about done. Yeah, but you got the trash can. If you're the trash can, <laughs> and I got it, yeah. Okay, so we're just about there. Let me get me a spoon. Find me a spoon. I'll show you what kind of texture I've got here. Runny? <laughs> it ain't runny. It's going to run right on toast. It's going to be yummy. Get out of there. Make some more milk. Make a mess. You see it's thickening up. I'm going to give this about another 40 seconds, then I'm going to turn it off. We're going to put it on some toast, and I'll show you what we end up with. Be back in a minute. Okay, there's the consistency of my gravy. We let it, turned it off and let it sit for about two minutes, and that's what it looks like. Looks yummy to me. So, I'm going to make me a plate. And uh, come back in a minute and uh, give you a taste test and let you know what we think. And I gotta get A B another beer. Oh, now he's eating now. I was eating now. Yeah. Oh, good. Jesus Christ. He's I quiet get, over there. I got time to get me a beer then. I need another beer cooler. Hell, I, if he stays much longer, I'm gonna need a beer sponsor. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, I'm gonna let this cool off a little bit and I'll come back and give you a taste test. Be back in a minute. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I know it's too hot to eat, but A B done uh damn he done it went to a fourth or third of a piece of toast. What do you think, little man? Good stuff. Oh hell yeah, I know how to make gravy dude. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Yeah, so we'll see. God that music on your phone's driving me nuts. Yeah, I'll change it. Yeah, it's hot. What you got? You got more gravy than I do. Oh, there's more in the skillet, dude. Get over there, you little pig. Damn. Little drunk bastard. Don't fell down now. 
Oh, he must like it. He's got a big old section gun already. Yeah, well, he never had Keith gravy before. No, he must like Keith gravy. So there you go. Fried bologna and gravy. Who would have thought? We do this every now and then. Uh, it's something I grew up with, man, here in southern Indiana. Uh, it's just something. You know, mom used to make this all the time. Back in the day, bologna was cheap, like 19 cents a pound. They didn't have 12 ounces back then. You buy about a pound. But, you know, it's, it's, it's different than uh, hamburger or sausage. And it's good. Uh, so that's what we did. I made A.B. some gravy tonight and showed him. Uh, that's twice this week he's seen my gravy making skills. It's stuff good. Right, yeah. Can I make gravy or what, dude? Yeah, you can. Yeah, hell yeah, I can. <laughs> I can make some gravy. Uh, anyways, I want to say uh, thank you to Sapple, Chef Ork. And you guys go check out their channels. Uh, Surfing Sapple and uh, Chef Ork. These guys rock. Uh, Chef is a true Cajun through and through. <laughs> Sapple is a true. Sapple through and through. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these guys both make some outstanding foods and, and they're really good people. Uh, they're really good people. Uh, I, I've met Lyndon before, but I haven't met Chef yet. One day soon, no, I mean, we'll, we'll meet up. Uh, I, I just know this. Uh, they're, they're good people. Uh, anyways, uh, me and Terry are finally moved in and. Uh, we're about 80% unpacked, and uh, life is just about to get back to normal here. Our videos, uh, she's, her ch schedule has changed. She's back to where she should be, out of my hair. And uh, we should get uh, back on our routine schedule here of uh, videos. So anyways, that's where we are. Uh, thank you all for watching, subscribing, liking. Uh, keep doing it. Uh, we're just having fun here, man. Cooking in the kitchen, having fun. That's all we do. Uh, we eat, we drink, we have fun. And uh, you gotta do something in this crazy ass world. So. I'm gonna go finish eating. And uh, I know it's beer time. Damn, dude. Put his butt to bed so he quits eating, drinking so much. I told you I got up the other night and he was drinking the damn vanilla. Well, he put a lock on the cabinet. I got too many cabinets. I got too many ice boxes. I okay. mean, this guy will drink anything. Yeah, I put those little uh, child safety things on the cabinet so they can't get in them. Man, I, I think he's got a lock for a uh, key for all that shit anyway. I mean. Uh. Dude, it's been fun, man. You, you're all right, though, dude. You're all right. Uh, you're a lot of fun. And uh, okay. I'm going to try to do some sightseeing with him this week. Uh, I'm going to go out and show him some of the heifers down on the river. He might like that. Uh, we got some pretty ones down here. And uh, I'm talking about women, not cows. And uh, uh, we may... Uh, before he leaves, we're going to get him up to the hilltop. We're going to get him a brain sandwich. And uh, maybe a brain sandwich slider. They got them now, they say. Sammy. I don't know. Sammy. We're going to do that. And uh, he ain't met Baloney Boy yet. We got we to gotta hook him up with Baloney Boy and Greg yet. Oh, Lord. So that, that'll be exciting. So, uh, anyways, uh, AB's got him. Uh, he got him another couple of weeks here. We're going to show him a good time. Uh... He's going to hang out till my birthday at the end of the month. Say good night, Keith. We're going to have a party then. and uh, Party? Tell her, man. Party? Fuck off, man. <laughs> Every day is a party with A.B. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to get out of here. And uh, Sapple, Chef, thank you guys. Uh, much appreciated. Man, it feels good wearing Chef Whites again. It, it feels good. It's been too many years, man. Okay, say good night. Alright, go eat, Terry. Thank All you. Alright, y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll be back next time.